everywhere I go, no matter what country I'm in, everybody asks about me. She got people reading. You know, 40 million copies of her book sold worldwide. She just had this brilliant way of telling a story. The genius of her, the way she captured people, you know? She just was fascinated by other people, ordinary people, the woman in the street. She famously, as you know, used to follow people to hear the ends of conversations. She's legendary and she's such a huge inspiration. I think I first met Maeve Binchy when I was 27 and she gave me a great bit of advice. She said, Nam, do you know the um, two things that a young journalist must always keep in the top drawer of the desk? So I thought she was going to say an Oxford English dictionary and a, and a thesaurus, but um, she said, no, um, a bottle of gin and a spare pair of knickers. Dorky's a lovely town and we decided we'd, we'd have a book festival. But the first person I rang was Maeve and she just said to me, of course we should have a book festival. And she said, not only should we have a book festival, I'll help you. And she got on the phone to lots of other writers and said, you have to come to Dorky. Even as late as the end of June, when the book festival was on, Maeve came out with great difficulty, I now know, uh, from her house into Finnegan's and regaled and entertained. And then she spent hours signing books with fans. For all female writers that I, I've met along the way, we all considered her the queen and she was the trailblazer. She was the original trailblazer. And so I think she would always be remembered for that. But she was a fantastically generous and joyful person. And we loved being around her. She meant so much to so many people. And uh, Gordon, of course, her wonderful husband, prince of a man, just a person of amazing um, graciousness and, and charm. And they were clearly mad about each other, so you loved being in their company. She did a lot to help a lot of people, and she'll be sorely missed. Mm -hmm.